Hey guys, Natalie Couchet here. As you can see, um, I have my robe on, no makeup, and it is just one of those days where I've been in the house uh, working on my business plan for 2013 with my husband. But I wanted to make this quick video, and the video was just that important for me to get out, regardless of, you know, what's, the, what's all going on over here. Um, it was important for me to get this out because I think that a lot of you all need to hear this and, and you can take my experience about turning business down uh, into 2013. So just to kind of give you a background, if you're watching this video, some of you may or may not know, but I'm a social media trainer and what I do is I basically show entrepreneurs, small business owners how to grow their businesses online with strategies, much needed strategies and easy strategies to um, you know, to build an email list, to build a following, to create loyal fans, engagement, sales, all of that, right? And you know, some people see the value in what I do, and others don't, and that's totally fine. But what my job is is to do is to find the people who do see value, it's not to convince. So now let me give you the background on why I'm shooting this video. So a few days ago, a woman posted on my Facebook fan page that what I do is a scam and that she's not willing to pay for something that she can learn on her own for free. And, you know, I didn't pay much attention to it. I, I sent uh, a response and I just said, hey, so-and-so, if you feel that this is a scam, you're more than welcome to remove yourself from my page. And I left it at that. Well, lo and behold, you know, I'm over here doing my work and I check my Facebook page and the same lady sends me a message asking me to explain what I can do for her business to grow it online, and then she proceeds to ask me how much I charge. And for a split second, like a tenth of a second, I actually was about to send her my pricing, uh, you know, my services, what I do for people, and explain to her what it was. And then that other second came, and I said to myself, why the hell would I spend my time trying to convince this woman who says what I do is already a scam and has already expressed to me that she's not willing to pay for information that she thinks she can get for free, why would I spend my time even going there, right? So I deleted a little one sentence that I had that I had began to write and then I proceeded to say, and these are like almost the exact words, thank you so-and-so for your, for your message. Um, I appreciate you reaching out to me. However, I don't think that we'd be a good fit working with one another because I don't believe that you'd be able to comprehend the value that I can bring into your business. And so um, I left it at that. And she sends me a message back and, and you know, further continues to say that since I didn't answer her question that what I do is I take money from people and I make them feel like they can't do things on their own. And that, I mean, that's the farthest thing from the truth. You all know that I, I do trainings where I allow people, groups of people to come for $10, $15. I mean, we're not even going to get into that, right? Um, and I have higher price packages for corporations, different things like that. But that's not the point. The point is that I wasn't going to explain to her why she should work with me. I wasn't going to explain to her what I did because it's just not that serious. And a lot of people do that online. It's a mistake that I used to make in the beginning. I don't so much do it anymore. But you as a business owner, you want to spend time with a few different people. Raving fans, people who already are fans of your business, right? People you've done you know, business with who, who just love you. You want to spend time with people who are interested in your business. And not with people who are skeptical and who who just plain don't get what you do and don't even care to learn. Don't spend time with those people online. Um, and then here's another thing. You have to kind of figure out what you're willing to do to get business and what you're not willing to do. And for me, this is just for me, I am not willing to not sell myself because I have to sell myself. And if you're in business, you have to sell yourself. But don't, don't go back and forth convincing people about who you are, why you're this, why you're that. Let your clients do it for you. Let your work speak for itself. This is why it's important to get testimonials, to get written testimonials, video testimonials, and have kind of a portfolio of what you've done because guess what? That is going to speak for itself. So I want to encourage you all to put that together and then also on top of that, know what you are and what you're not willing to do. So hope this inspires you. 
Um, I know, you know, it's a learning experience for me and I wanted to share. So visit me on nataliegrouchet.com for more information like this and join my mailing list. Uh, the information is below, nataliegrouchet.com. See you on the other side.